Uh, for those of y'all that don't know me, my name is Mike Webb. At one time, I was the NRA Tennessee State Director. Uh, and about four years ago, I got promoted to be the whooping boy as the Southern Region Director over 10 states in the South. So what I want to talk about is James Jager. In a way. I, saw, I got to do a lot of thinking about this. I, he's really been in my prayers a lot the last few days because I really wanted him to have peace and comfort when he left this world. And from what I've been told, my prayer was answered. But James, to sum it up, is a friend, a supporter, a patriot, and now a legacy. Mm -hmm. And a little uh, background about James and I. James didn't know me from Adam. And when I took this state over, NRA hired me back in 2006, I thought the state was in pretty good shape. To be honest, it was a shit show. The guy before me had done all kinds of stupid stuff. And for my first two years as a rep for the NRA, to be honest, you could offer me a job $10 an hour riding the back of a trash truck, and I would have took it. That's how bad it was. But when I first took this job, I get a call one day by a man by the name of James J. He introduced himself, and he said, if you ever, ever need anything, you call me. And I mean that. And just call me Yale. I said, I got it. Well, I was a struggling rep. They were told us about raising a lot of money. In case you don't know, I worked for the NRA Foundation, which is a little separate than NRA. We're 30 years old this year. NRA started in, uh, in 1871. But struggling the way I was, we had an event in Camden. Lots the time I get rocking and rolling along, the local people said, we're not going to do the event anymore. We can't do it this year. I said, what do you mean you can't? We just can't. I said, well, let's reschedule. Let's do a different date. They go, no, you just need to pick up the merchandise and have the guns picked up. We're not going to do it. Light bulb went off in my head by a guy by the name of Yeager that said if I ever needed anything to call him. Okay. So I called him. I said, Yeager, this is Mike with the National Life Association. I need your help. What do you need? I told him what happened, and he said, I'll take care of it. Well, he got with Tracy. We was at a big meeting down at Range USA. Marshall Blackburn was there doing a big ordeal. So Tracy and Joe shows up, they sign the charter, and we get started. Well, the year before that, local people had 40, 45 people made at the banquet, which is really small and struggling. They said, uh, so the very first year that uh, Tracy and Yeager and them got involved, we did it to a little bank room up there behind the bank, behind the uh, Best Western. We had, I don't know, 75 or 100 people or so, which was good. We had a banquet. We did good. So Yeager comes up to me. He said, you want, you, want, you want to make this really a big deal? I said, sure. He said, have it on alumni weekend. He said, I'll make the ambassadors pay $25 to come to alumni. They'll come to the banquet. I said, hey, I'm all in. So we did. <laughs> and I was amazed because you, when you went to the – most Friends of Runner events you go to on the parking lot, all you see is Tennessee plates. That event, it was freaking plates from everywhere. That one year, we had a table there from Australia. I was blown away. So it kind of grew from from that that year on. But backing up, a year after they did the banquet, I was with, I don't know if Jonathan was there, David Walter was there, but Tracy and Yeager invited me to go out and eat at Maker's Mart in Louisville, Kentucky at the annual meeting. So okay, so we're sitting there eating dinner, Yeager looks across the table. He says, uh, how many banquets do you have now? I said, oh, about 16. 16. He looks at Tracy. He says, I think we ought to offer a shooting rifle, pistol, or shotgun class at every banquet in the state of Tennessee. What do you think, Tracy? He said, I'm all in. <laughs> With that being said, James Yeager, tactical response, was our first statewide donor person. Because he made that commitment and that step. That's now adding about $250,000 a year to our program. Wow. So Yeager, Yeager has added over $200,000. That program has raised over a million dollars. There are people now that I'll stand up. Well, I don't do it anymore, but the rep will stand up and he'll say, hey, this next item up is bid is, uh, you know, for tactical spots, two-day class, with, 
in a handgun class, don't even go there, two days, I've been told if you're going to take fighting pistol, you need to take a minimum of a thousand rounds of ammo with you, plus your class time. This ain't a handgun class. And then you'll have people start to raise their hands and say, I've been, can I say something about it? You bet you get up and talk. So now we're seeing that, uh, you know, it's, it's building a part of the alumni. So, and, and, and I'm happy to say, because Jaeger made that commitment, and um, I, I don't know if the banner is still hanging at the shop down there. At one time we had a banner hanging, and I, if it's not, I'll get you know it, but it says, Tactical Response, Statewide Donor, Founder. Because of them, we have other companies now it is ended up. We have three companies that buy us every bank within the state of gun now. So that's adding to us more and more. So what I told Tracy, and I think he talked to Kayla and Heather and Rebecca, and they've they've committed to keep his legacy going. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna change our flyer to say in remember of James Yeager, and we're gonna keep this legacy going because it's a big deal to us. It's raised tens of thousands of dollars. And, and in this, honor of, he said, no gay shit. No gay shit. In honor of, I got you. I got you. No gay shit. That's gay shit. But this is not the NRA that we're talking about. This is the foundation. And we give money to shooting teams. We don't, it don't go to, to buy political stuff. It goes to put money on the ground. And uh, so I'm, I'm proud to say we'll keep this legacy alive. Y'all see somebody that comes to the banquet, comes to bid on it. One funny story. Well, one other thing. Jaeger helped me one year. I needed a donation for the annual meeting. I said, I need some help. He said, well, we'll donate a class and we'll buy airfare. Is that good enough? I said, perfect. Then one year we was doing something. I, I needed a, a donation. And, and it come to find out we did a fighting rifle class and somebody else donated a rifle and this guy won it. He ended up selling the rifle. He didn't want to do the rifle class. He got a pistol. So I go up to him. He just got back from coming up here. He says, you know that Yeager guy? I said, yeah. Why? He said, that son of a bitch is crazy. <laughs> I said, why do you say that? He said, we was up there on the firing line shooting, and this guy had a high-end timber, and that thing kept jamming. So Yeager kept looking down there. He finally went down there. He said, let me see your pistol. He grabbed it, and he it. <laughs> <laughs> And the guy started to walk off to go get it. He said, you set your ass right there, and don't, you can get that gun at the end of the day. Here's a Glock 19. It won't get you killed. <laughs> That's my story about the legend. Thank you. Thank you.